this gusty wind. Noodle! Noodle! Yes, we have matching Tilly hats. Pure electric. Booty. Donut. Donut! You got some food, right? Alright. <laughs> okay, two motors. Ready? Well, I guess you never get all the leaks in the boat. This video is sponsored by a company called Fathead.com that prints things, um, which I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to find out what is in here. They print all kinds of things from Marvel, Disney, Star Wars, your own photographs, decals, cutouts, stuff I'm really not familiar with. Let's see what we have here. Got my new tough built knife that goes sideways too. Or a scraper or a knife. There we go. Could put some presents under there, like an old paintbrush or some. Non toxic paint stripper. Just joking. It's freestanding and it comes with presents. So, this might be a very budget Christmas. You could just buy this and have your kids come down and say, There they are, there are the presents. <laughs> 51 by 33. That's pretty nice. Kind of like Vermont. Who goes there? I do. Is that our guy? Oh, point down. Do I have the glasses right? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. How does that look? It's kind of funny. For pictures, maybe? No, no, it's funny. Ho, ho, ho. Well, thank you, Fathead. Uh, if I don't use this stuff, I will pass it on to those who will. And I appreciate you sending it to me. And the products seem as advertised, well made. And I suggest going to fathead.com and checking it out. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, honey. You're welcome. What a perfect day. So we've put a lot of canoes, sailboats, a snark, kayaks on the roof of Foresters and minivans. How is it to put this ancient John boat on the roof? Just you and I. This one is the easiest, even though like the dimensions are the largest. It's light, it's it's kind of shaped like a rectangle, so it like makes sense to pick up. It's very balanced and the handholds are like you can hold on in places where the weight is balanced well. Yeah, no, I'm Two I'm really surprised. Up. They could be your oars. You can it's catch it because of the current. Oh well, you won't have to go swimming today. Where'd it go? Oh, there. Ooh, spot on. Such a quiet little motor. <laughs> right here. Ooh. 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 
got the Great Mountain Test Jack in the background. Place where the Lost River meets the Connecticut. You have to say it one more time for it to be my real name. Okay, there we go. That was four. Yes. Oh my god. I have a sword. Oh my god. Look what I found. Look at those clouds. Oh, Holy like moly. Alright, let's see. We got the motor. We got the drill. We got a box of knickers and knackers. We got the kids probably starting to find. We got a fish and taco box. A little pole. Some food. Water. The drill paddle. Warlocks, new, cool little seats, two old oars, and hats. Rolling? Rolling. <laughs> oh, that was only two. <laughs> the first thing I noticed today is we got a windy day. Great day to test a motor. Uh, the second thing, the current's strong because it rained and upriver, I think they're letting the dam out. How are the seats, oh, honey? Squishy on my tushy. <laughs> Genius. I'm so comfortable. You like the pool noodles? The pool noodles just keep being comfy, comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Joking about abandoning your children is so funny. I know, you, it, you kind of forget. What about the rudder? How does how does the rudding work? Rudding? <laughs> rudding, the motor itself has, is oh, turned. Right. Okay, you guys stay there. We're gonna go. We'll be back in a couple days. Bye. Any leaks oh. up there? Nada. Not a one. You gotta keep your fingers in the boat with this guy driving. Well, motoring around that way, kind of fooling around, went down to 70%. My buddy Andrew and my son are here. We got 70% on a windy day. We're gonna go upriver again and see how far it goes, but we're not gonna break the prop this time. Well, that's four. Wow, it's doing pretty good in the wind, even on three. All right, we're gonna try not to hit that uh, giant log. We're going to go to four. With the current and the wind, no motor. So we've been fighting against this with the motor so far. All right, we're going to drop a line here, even though it's the middle of the day and the fish are sleeping, I think. Definitely not leaking in the back, but we have a leak somewhere. I bet it's some rivets. But boy, not much at all with three people. We beached it. I raised up the propeller. Cast away. Walk the plank, young man. We're casting you away on this island. All right, we're gonna wait out this gusty wind in the leeward, leeward side of this island. Windward? Tell me what we decided to christen the boat. We christened the boat. What did we christen it? Noodle. Noodle. Noodle because of the noodle seats. Cast off. I'm pushing, I'm trying at least. Got it. Here we go.
alligator. In the bay, up oh, log. We're going into that pirate cove to see if there's fish sleeping. Yes, we have matching chili hats. It's getting a little rocky. Let's get some headway and then go back to the water. Oh, that was it. It was it was sticking up. It was like a a widowmaker. A hanging chad. Hanging chad. <laughs> it looks like a dead end up there. Electric boating. All right, you're keeping an eye out for that snag log that was coming up. <laughs> you kind of look like a New York bio fisher. Bayou fisher. Bayou fisher. Oh, there's the walking path up there. We're not in the middle of nowhere. It's a bit too deep for me to see down to the bottom, Dad. Okay. All right, yes, we made a worm out of chewing gum and put it on a lure because we don't really know how to fish. The wind has died down and we're going with the current. So we are cruising. Donut. 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 I love donuts. <laughs> well, we got a little fall leaves and a spot of sun. Coming in. Here we come, a little bit more, and then the a little bit more. More. Perfect. Full stop. Can't believe we're at 50 something percent. Amazing. We're going to have to just run this thing around. This is the Marina restaurant. Okay, food, very consistently okay, an awesome setting. Good drinks. Well, that's the Connecticut River. We've been on the West River and there's a, a real fishing boat there. We can go see what he's doing. He's got a chair and everything. And a bow mounted trawling motor. Total pro, huge motor. And he's controlling the bow motor with his feet. percent still I said how's that possible it's got to keep this thing on four or we're gonna be here all day ah oh, there's some colors 
We're still going up the Connecticut River against the wind. Oh, this is another island in the middle of the Connecticut River. Make sure this That's boat, Route 9 up there. Make sure this boat does not fly anywhere within two feet of this. Oh, hi there. just a little rock and look the beautiful rocks down there I bet there's some fishing right in here I'll try a fake worm over there maybe you got some food right oh, okay I'll come over all right <laughs> we were gonna use this when we ran out of electric but let's you can try it the deeper it is in the water definitely the better try that hold on tight whoa and that's on one out of three on the drill it's like a bow thruster oh my god we have a bow thruster get it in the water more there you go yep on three it would probably knock you over I think Amtrak's coming this way. Coming in once a day to our town, just like the 1800s. Well, now it gets the hard part. We're a little chilly. We've been fighting upriver, but we're close to the bridge of Route 9. Almost there, we're gonna turn around when we get to the bridge. Almost made it to the bridge. I have never been uh, under this bridge in my 12 years of being in this town and there's a waterfall there. Almost, we can go back right while we're under the middle of this bridge. So we're gonna try the drill motor while we have this motor. We're trying on three. Ready? Go. It's a little. It's definitely faster, noisier, and much harder. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I did calibrate this, but who knows? Who knows if this is right? All right, I'm standing up in the boat like a paddle board. Uh -huh. I suppose if I had to, I could pee off the boat. I think I see the bridge way up on the right there. Standing up in the boat and the wind is blowing. I think we must be going. Yeah, I can see the bridge. See the bridge? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Two o'clock coming in. Beautiful day. Oh, no wake. I think I better go from four to three. <laughs> That's a little boat joke because you know, our wake is not even dangerous to a leaf. This is a great place to rent kayaks and canoes. Vermont Canoe Touring Center is its official name. 
and it's right on the other side of the marina restaurant and that is the bridge that Amtrak went over. Well, it is warm back here, so I wonder if it would ever overheat. Oh, that's the, that's the drill motor there. <laughs> Turbo boost. Well, I guess you never get all the leaks in the boat, but it is not leaking from the other places it was leaking. It's leaking in new places. Okay, Mama's here. Hi, I'll be right there. We've been on the water for almost three hours at four, three or four. Say it would last a long, nice day on the water because this had wind and it had current. So I love our electric boat. My next challenge is gonna be hooking up a 50 watt solar panel and seeing if I can get this thing charged back to 100%. Okay, coming. Anyway, this has been so much fun, and uh, I look forward to getting a uh, full solar just for the fun of it. Monkeys are really active today. There's huge flocks gathering here on the meadows. I get this feeling like they're coming from all over, joining forces.